Hello everyone. Welcome to Literature Warriors. Today I would be analyzing the poem Futility by Wilfred Owen. This poem is actually a very famous poem and this poem has been prescribed in London A level English literature syllabus. So well, uh, let me move on through the poem. So before going through the stanzas of the poem, I would like to talk about the poet. So poet is uh, Wilfred Owen and he is a World War I poet, an English poet. He was born in uh, 1893 in England. And uh, his mother has been influenced a lot in his poetic life. And uh, after exposing uh, to warfare, because uh, he was a soldier, that means uh, he has had the first hand experience of war. So, after exposing for the warfare, uh, he wrote about how authorities try to attract young men towards war and so many other futile efforts of war. So this is another thing about futility regarding war. This is a war poem. So as he is a soldier, this poem is really appealing almost all all of his poems are very appealing and this is also one of them well so you can see the title of the poem is futility but uh, it is important to reflect that uh, uh, the title of the poem uh, in an early draft has been uh, titled as frustration Well, but there is a slight difference between these two words, frustration and uh, futility because it is really significant to talk about the title because uh, the title of the poem is a representative of uh, the entire poem. So the word frustration and the word futility. Uh, Futility should be discussed before going to the poem. Well, so uh, the word futility, uh, when we search the word futile in the dictionary, it is uh, given as completely ineffective. And when it comes to frustration in the dictionary, it gives the definition as to walk or defeat in an endeavor or foil. Well, however, uh, as I told you, there is a very slight difference between these two words. Frustrate, frustrate, the word frustration comes from the word frustrate, the root word is that. And it suggests the idea of loss, idea of loss can be specific. And uh, that defeat perhaps uh, can be turned around. That means this frustration can be uh, specific. And uh, when we take a worldly example, the frustration of the loss of a match can be reverted by a win in the next round. So uh, the word frustrate is restricted because it has specific meaning associated with the event. So the word frustration is a idea of loss, but it's specific. Well, then when it comes to the word futility, the root word is futile. So there's no 
uh, specificity actually but the state of uh, total nullification that means void the something is totally useless totally useless totally useless or hopeless there is no specificity the word futility suggests there is uh, no use so you can see this uh, the word futility the title futility is symbolic in the poem because uh, it suggests that there is nothing futile almost everything is uh, useless and hopeless so that gives you uh, an idea about this uh, poem uh, giving you a symbolic meaning well so let me move on to the poem now move him into the sun gently its touch awoke him once at home whispering of fields unsown always it awoke him even in france until this morning and this no if anything might rouse him now the kind old son will know well so you can see the poem starts with the imperative imperative move so uh, this word encourages the action move him into the sun so and it uh, gives you a kind of uh, it tells you move him into the sun now actually sometimes we are telling when we are in a hurry we are telling move move so like that move him into the sun so there is a, a sense of urgency is also there well and the, the urgent need of him uh, to move into the range of sunlight actually so you can see that is there in the first stanza gently it touch awoke him once so this sunlight taking him to the sunlight because once this word once is very uh, significant because uh, this word once is very significant because uh, it shows that uh, it suggests that uh, this male has been in a far away place earlier so earlier the gently its touch awoke him up its touch so here the, the, the sunlight the touch of the sunlight it has uh, been taking him and touching him and evoking him so evoking you can say it can be used uh, with another word giving life so the sun has given life earlier once so once suggests he is uh, away from home actually he is away from home and uh, earlier also gently the sunlight has given him life and but so so that the poet says that uh, moving him into the sun is very urgent so then let me go to the third line it says at home once at home whisper in the fields and so on so that means the sun has given life to this person when when he was at home giving him life especially for the uh, purpose of cultivation so cultivation gives you the idea of life in at the same time and then all 
always it awoke him even in France. So France may be his home. Uh, sorry, not uh, France. It may be the place he is now in. Even he was in. He was at home. He was woken up by awakened by the sun giving life to him. And even in France, that means the battlefield. When he was in the battlefield now, when he come, when he came here also, he has been awakened by the sun. Uh, but until this morning, this is really suggestive. The sun has given him life throughout his life. So we take sun as a life giver perceiver so sun earlier and even when he came to France in the battlefield also he was uh, given life by the sun but it was only until this morning and this no you can see the contrast between uh, these two words sun and snow it's really symbolic because i told you sun has been uh, taken as the life giver and perceiver and snow at the same time refers to death and it is also stands as a metaphor here so we can see the contrast of sun and snow because they were having a kind of uh, a battle like the soldiers in the battlefield does so finally sun has uh, given up his fight and he lost uh, he defeated uh, but finally snow won snow means death won so this is actually suggestive to the soldiers who are battling in the battlefield struggling with life life is sun and uh, the death is snow so they are struggling finally death snow wants off well then the other two lines are also very suggestive if anything might rouse him now the kind old son will know so this line expresses the idea of helplessness um, helpless state because uh, nobody could rouse him up now and uh, it says uh, kind old son so in one hand this is ironical because uh, it gives the idea that uh, the poet is just uh, blaming the son telling you have given life uh, to this to this person whom we called him here throughout his life when he was at home and also when he's in the battlefield but you are being so kind then why don't you wake him up now so it's one in one hand it's ironical uh, kind old son but on the other hand uh, it's uh, confirming the idea that the man has been died no uh, anything might rouse him now so it confirms the death of the man and uh, even this kind old son cannot give him life now because he has been died and son has uh, lost his battle actually so when I summarize this verse, uh, the first verse, first stanza, it's, it begins with a sense of urgency uh, to expose the young man into the sun. 
uh, hoping to wake him up because once the sun has given him uh, life to cultivate the land cultivate the land actually then uh, this young man uh, has come to the battlefield and battling with uh, life and uh, finally the snow the death ones the, the death one and even the sun the life giver cannot wake him up at this point well so you can see how the poem deals with the death of a young man on the battlefield well uh, moving on to the next stanza it says think how it wakes the seeds walk once clay of a call star our limbs so dear achieved our sides full nerved still warm too hard to stir was it for this the clay grave tall oh what made fatuous sunbeams toil to break earth sleeps at all well so this stanza in this stanza over now uh, shifts the focus of the poem to the sun the life giving sun because the seeds suggest life and uh, it gives you the idea of uh, or idea of a tree actually because seeds become a it grows into a big tree finally and it has been done by the sun so the poet tries to uh, tell uh, that the sun carries life sun carry life and uh, it can motivate can motivate they are coming into life into life well so it suggests that now uh, after this soldier the young man has been died and he has been uh, rooted in the soil as a seed and finally the sun is again giving him life by his power of waking him inspiring the life and uh, in this cold earth so the cold star star refers to earth actually and this uh, clays are bodies so again uh, the body the dead body becomes a seed and then the sun is again nourishing him up nurturing the seed and finally uh, it gives life in this cold earth well then uh, so this such as the inherent this such as the inherent power of the sun to give life and to nurture one well so next two lines our limbs so dear achieved our sides full nerve still warm too hard to stir this is a question actually so you can see hard to stir it's uh, too hard to stir well it gives you the idea that uh, it's too hard to stir means uh, hard to give life actually hard to give life so now it comes back to the life of the soldier our limbs so dear chief sides full nerves still warm the body is still warm so the body is still in uh, intact and uh, it shows that the body has not been severely injured but dying like this uh, may be due to the frustration in the uh, battlefield or 
to another disease which caused uh, in the battlefield well so however uh, the poet is uh, asking a question from the sun and uh, he's possible he's possibly challenging the sun to give life to this uh, dead one if you can do if you are so much powerful like this give life to this dead one he so he so he's questioning like this so this question actually shows uh, the depression of the of the speaker he doesn't like to accept that this person has been died and he's asking uh, he's challenging the sun to give life to this dead body. Well, then, uh, so he just can't claim this death because uh, a young man has been recently died. Well, so you can see another question is there that is also significant. Was it for this clay grave toll? So, we know everybody is growing older so the poet is questioning this body grew tall means uh, became uh, a young man young getting young and uh, aged now the poet is questioning why you made this uh, body uh, st a strong young man if you are going to make this person die at the end so it shows it is something uh, it is questionable because uh, and you can see the word fatuous it suggests uh, stupid or absurd so you can see here stupids sunbeams the adjective stupid sunbeams are working hard uh, to make this person nurture and uh, to make him a great person so the poet is questioning if you are going to end up his life uh, from death why do you make uh, people nurture so he's questioning from sunbeams this this is a question from sunbeams why did such absurd sunbeams create life on earth if uh, begins only die in the end so Owen questions about the ex existence actually the speaker questions about the existence so we all know that uh, the answers for these questions are not available in this world because um, it is interesting to know that how uh, death of a single soldier sets off for a serious inquiry because unanswerable questions these inquiries have no easy answers so this is uh, the nature of life actually so death is inevitable uh, and uh, we all know that uh, though we might not reflect on this uh, issue of issue in depth about death and uh, possibly uh, because we are so deeply involved in our day-to-day -day work and we are going for holidays and enjoying our lives so we forget this uh, death actually it's um, we can see it's really futile because we are uh, getting nurtured we are having so many expectations and we are getting nurturing uh, and finally we are getting old and it ends with death so the poet is questioning 
why you are nurturing a body uh, to a well grown person if you are going to end up that soul with death so it is actually unanswerable because uh, it is the nature of life but we can see the futility of life so the f f at first the poet tries to tell the futile effort of uh, taking moving a dead body towards sun and trying to give life so that is the actually that is the incident of the poem so with that simple useless and futile incident the poet tries to give us a strong and in-depth message universal message, message which is uh, the futility futility of life and um, uh, the inevitability of death, the brevity of life and all. So there are so many themes and techniques in this poem. I would be discussing the themes and techniques in another video. So I think you have understood the poem to some extent. Uh, well, uh, hope you will watch the other videos as well. I would be uh, explaining the themes and techniques probably. Well, so thank you all for watching.